This is Visio 2010 Layers Tutorial, uh, third in the series, advanced number three, and this is about layer set editing. This is a video we left off, the uh, second one about layer sets. The topic of this uh, video is how to modify that layer set. Now, for a simple drawing like this one with only a few layers, the best thing is to just go back and re record the macro. However, when you make more complicated drawings, uh, I like to use these for patch panels, fiber cables, and that sort of thing, and you've got lots of layers, then it's worthwhile to have some way to edit the layer set. Uh, this is not a production kind of technique, but for that occasion when you have a, a number of drawings with this layer sets. So the way we're going to do this is I uh, will start out by doing an example. We're going to add another layer. So I'm going to... Uh, Go here to layer properties, uh, choose to add a new layer. I'm going to call this one Mango and give Mango a color, a little bit like a ripe mango. And then I'm going to create something here. Copy the format for one of these objects. So it's pretty similar. Now I'm going to take this and assign it to a layer of mango. Okay, so we now have another layer in the drawing. And uh, we're going to take a look at the shape sheet and see what this looks like. So that's the page shape sheet. I'm going to scroll down here a bit, and you'll see that mango has been added as layer number seven. And um, you can see that right now it's uh, turned on. That bananas is turned off. And that's what we needed to see. Now, in order to edit this, we're actually going to go in and edit the macro itself. So go here to macros. And we'll see a couple listed. Scroll over and we'll see the show non tropical. And we're going to edit that one. Now, in here, we'll see that um, this uh, item number two on there, I think these are the different uh, layer numbers. And you can see that we've got some activities here. We're turning on a visible layer and a print layer. A one is turning it on, zero is turning it off. So uh, we're showing the non tropical, and it shows that uh, number two here is being turned to zero or off. So I'm just going to copy that. Just drag it down here, hold down the control key to copy, and just to make things even, just put a space there. Now I'm going to change this to. Uh, do number six. Now remember that was number seven for mango, but we subtract one to get in here because this starts with zero instead of one. It's just the way things work in the world of programming when you're starting with zero or one. Okay, and that should fix this up. Uh, we're going to go here and go to the show tropical one. And here uh, we have the bananas being turned uh, on, the one. And I'm just going to copy that one. Again, selecting it and just dragging it down here. Hold down the control key. Again, I'm going to turn it to end. And then I'm going to change this to six. And this one to six. I think we're good. Uh, go here to File, Close, and Return to Visio. And then we should be able to click on this. And we're showing tropical fruit, mangoes, and bananas. I should be able to click on this one. And now we're showing non tropical fruit. So we've managed to uh, edit the layer set fairly easy way. If you had lots of layers, this would be uh, a simple way of, of editing. Uh, one point uh, I want to make right now is I'm taking a look at that shape sheet for the page. Um, 
that if uh, we were to delete uh, one of these layers, uh, say we would delete oranges, uh, it doesn't actually remove that space, it just takes the oranges out of it, and it doesn't show up on the layer list. But if then we were to add another layer, it would fill up that same space and take on the same number. So uh, we hadn't deleted anything, so when we added mango, it went on the end of the list. But if you do delete anything, it, it could move, uh, it could change that when you add another layer, it doesn't show up at the end, it shows up somewhere along the way where you've moved a different layer. And so that's it for um, editing these macros and the layer sets. For further information, go to drinfrastructure.com.